the joy that you find here you borrow. You cannot keep it long, it seems. But Gigolo and Gigolette still sing a song and dance along the boulevard of broken dreams. Everyone who lived through the Great Depression has a story to tell. Stay with us as ordinary people recall extraordinary times in Pennsylvania. Progress Administration dramatized the New Deal's commitment to ending direct relief by giving jobs to the employable jobless. In central Pennsylvania, WPA workers organized records at the Center County Courthouse, constructed sewers in Belfont. They built a football stadium in State College and a roadway from Colville to Valley View. Wherever possible, people did the work of machinery. We had a six-pound sledge that we had to swing all day long, and of course, it was working on highways and uh, nap stone, and take big stones and make little ones out of it, and, uh, and we do that all day long. The work I did for WPA was excavating, lowering a grade, and filling in a lower place with the, the dirt and stones that come from the excavation. My title at that time was timekeeper on the job and also laborer. Most of the people on WPA were much older. They were far, they were the, uh, uh, the father, they were the father of the family. And uh, of course, uh, I was the kid. I was the little kid working there. And one of the, I think the worst part of the job was flagman. That was a long day to be a flagman. Even though there wasn't much traffic, there wasn't hardly traffic at all, but the trucks coming in and out with the, with the, with the stones to be uh, napped, that's what we call it, napping the stone, uh, breaking them down. Some people thought it was a waste of time. That, uh, others thought it was a good thing that employed people that had nothing else to do, and that was the general public, not only rural areas, but also the urban areas. They didn't have, they didn't have money to go do and obtain what they'd like to have, necessities, rather than frivolities. The pay was always a forwarded home. You, you never got a pay. It went, the government sent that right into the, uh, into the house, into the home. And if the parents wanted to give you something, they would. Uh, and I don't recall whether they give me any or not. And uh, of course, I didn't need any. I wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> we didn't have a car. We didn't have anything because Dad couldn't work. The house was a company house. And one pipe for water. And if it got 31 degrees, it froze. There were six of us that slept in one bedroom. Mom and Dad slept in the other. And. Uh, it was cold in the winter because there was no insulation. Uh, a good windstorm or a snowstorm, and you see snow coming through the cracks of the window, and it'd be on the floor, sometimes in your shoes. <laughs> so, but we, we lived with it, you know? It was uh, something that we didn't uh, get mad about. It was something that we tolerated because that, that was what we figured that was the best thing we could do. It was rough, but we got accustomed to it, and we didn't wish for a lot of things that we couldn't afford. I don't want your millions, mister. I don't want your diamond ring. All I want is the right to live, mister. Give me birth.
A copy of the program you've just seen can be purchased through Penn State Media Sales at mediasales.psu.edu or by calling 800-770-2111.